<laughs> no, I'm good. Okay. I'm I'm recording. I'm just like, wow, look how it feels. Oh. Once you get tracked, there's no return. Shrek, you know, and in the morning. How everybody just is like, whoa, wow, just because you sing a projection on the floor. Just yeah. <laughs> no, really, just coming right out of the box, it's so striking and unusual that it like surprises you. Come on down and be on the floor. It's too much fun. Look at the narrow. Oh, look at look at the shadow that we get. Oh, I've forgotten how much fun this stuff is. Whoa. Whoa. It's giving very pussycat dolls right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go, children, go. Yeah. Go, children, go. White or red? Now, now stop. Now stay only on the bright spots. Now you are fire creatures. And, you stay in there. and make fire creature noises. Don't get in the dark spots. Okay, now, a new scenario. This is a fiery road heading that way, but it's all swervy, and you're all riding your fire bicycles. So, <laughs> pants on, you're on a bicycle, and you're riding your bike, but stay on the white roads. Go. Oh and you're coming towards me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So here's the scenario, there's been a um, nuclear accident and you've been, due to radiation, you've grown to where you are 2,000 miles tall. So talk about that while you're walking. Yeah. By the way, when you step in the ocean, you have to say splash. Splash. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, I took a vacation there once. <laughs> and you can have to adopt the accent or the... the oh my god, the that's hilarious. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> IPA at the same time would make me die. Not the IPA. <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, So go to stage left. Let's get more people out there. Let's get new people out there. It's going to start moving. Okay. This, is, this was originally um, a backdrop for Shrek, but what I want you to do is um, move uh, in place. Now, you're facing the wrong way. You see yeah. That? Well, yeah. <laughs> I think spatially. See, see what it's doing and think a little cinematically. There you go. And go. Pick up some birds. Oh, oh, now you're in the forest. Get out of the forest. Oh, my goodness. Are we still have to be in place? <laughs> Oh, because what's happening here is this, to the audience, <laughs> the space is moving around you. So if you move too much in the space, you're leaving it, and you just have to. In, in this case, you just have to accept that. Yeah, it, it's it's just a very different way of moving on stage. Mm -hmm. And it's tricked too because what, what Amanda and I discovered when we first started playing with this stuff is there's almost this sense of vertigo uh, that can happen because you're trying to use your peripheral vision so much and you get to the point where you have no stable point around you to rely on and it's learning how to pick up cues you know, like the chairs, the risers, the grid, things like that. Keep those in place while also monitoring. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, oh, Ooh. Wow. Oh. Ooh, some smoke. <laughs> Not nearly as dynamic. Whatever you just went through, didn't know. I don't know why. Now, for my step. Shot through a potion so devious that it will kill everyone. Now, notice, kind of like a remodel. Is this good? I mean, it's not the brightest light in the world, but it's good. Yeah. And look, turn around, get some look at your shadow. Now, if your shadow, right now, this goes a certain distance up that wall, which means this is a pretty good projection position. I'm probably going to tip it down a little bit so it's more down here by the time we get into um, production, which means on the wall back there, it won't go quite up that column. But it means, um, just like you do in regular tech, pay attention to where your shadow is when you first experience the media so that you, so that you can keep your face in the light. Um, I will go all the way to stage until your shadow is, find a place where your face is not lit. Can you? And all of a sudden, it's not the same. All right, now come back into it, please. What's the best kind of movement for this? And is this movement? Or is this just one pulse you're excited about? <laughs> I kind of feel like the latter. Like, I feel like it would be really cool with, like, some stationary movement. Or, like, the people being stationary and mm -hmm. all of the smoke moving. Or a simple ballroom waltz or mm -hmm. spooky music yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
than that. Ooh. And what's lovely about even what <laughs> Nikki's doing right now, it's lovely because this is moving just a little, but it means when you don't move, there's still a sense of movement out there. And your body yeah. has a background that's moving around it, which creates just a little bit of drama. So those, the simplest things happening are accentualized. Like, well, yeah, The shadow. Yeah. A little bit of shadow work. Oh wow! Oh, the shadow got up. What's the fog about? When we did brilliant, we only discovered it was like this giant workshop block. Um, it was so abstract but so good to be, and we found everybody in the audience walked out knowing exactly what that show was about, and no two people agreed. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, I can't look right at it. <laughs> yeah, I like that.
I like that. I like that too. I think it would be even more if, like, when it was, when it paused, the whole room went black, like, complete blackout. Oh. With the voices yeah. continuing. What if that was the end bit? Like, this I agree with that. I, I think you do that, but don't do it every time. No, at the end, and people expect to pause, and then it cuts, and people yeah. think it's over, but it's not over, because everyone's still, yeah. That would be wild because it's like messing with what people think is going to happen. Because me and Katie were over here talking and we were thinking about the ghost lamp. Yeah. And the scene where yeah. Katie was just turning yeah. it on and off and how that could kind of connect yeah. to this. I think that would be cool because it's so different in like volume and like yeah. movement. See, what if you did your idea like you, you did this and then the last pause, the lights go off, everyone's really talking, that ghost light's not on, and then it's on, and that cues everyone to mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's just Katie 
you want to try your chest thing? Ooh. Start there. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to give this. I mean, I can read I it. I love how the shadows look. I don't mean you have to stay reading it. Yeah, it's I going to have someone else read it just because I'm weird about reading what I wrote. Okay. I felt yeah. that. I felt that. Hey, I'm getting in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bishops move only diagonally. Rooks move only horizontal or vertical. Yeah, just my chest. Chest on Chest on See, what would be really cool for me is if this chest thing is a place at a different time. But when it comes to the church, I'm not. Suddenly it makes sense. Yeah, rather than yeah. being on that as a two year old as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's something kind of cool about the case you're trying to do. And it's on the We have like a king and queen. Oh my gosh, yes. But the piece, it's piece, yeah. Um, we we're talking about like when the platforms come in, if like the king piece and the queen piece were on one each of the platforms, just watch. Wait, isn't it how you like win chess? Um, going right next to the king, so so imagine you, like you technically can't check the king. The king actually can't do shit in chess, which is really funny. <laughs> so it's. Makes sense. Makes sense. Put him up there. Put him up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Sarah Ann, do you want to read this? Sure. Book? I have. When I play at first, I don't think about which pieces I need to protect. They don't get a second thought. Rather, I decide which pawns I have to sacrifice for us to reach my end goal. My technique. Is that how we are? Pawns in a game far larger than we see in battle in a game that belongs to the universe? Sometimes I wish that was true. Sometimes I wish I didn't have to think so hard that someone larger and wiser and smarter than me was making all the choices, deciding whether I was a queen, a bishop, or a pawn. And if I am that pawn, if I am who falls first, the sacrifice to get to the finish line, so be it. Someone getting, you know, you land on a thing and someone has to be removed. Mm -hmm. I kept wanting to see someone come and, you know, it's like, uh, you know, as you say, you have a queen and the king is on to the other one, and someone comes in and brings the air up out. Like, well, this idea that you can be safe. That's what I kind of want to see is that's you know, the two separate I boards. Know, so I'm I'm like, like, you know, like, yeah, right. yeah, well, could we try that? Because like, you know, chess is like either end, and then that provides like another barrier. Yeah, I said, you want to do diagonal? You want to do about four? Um, I got three. Checkmate. Checkmate. Mm. Or if that's like the kind of um, and then like 
and then by the end of it, like Sarah Ann is the piece that makes the chess the chess the piece. Summary, yeah. Mm -hmm. So at this point in my head, I have Sarah Ann and Abby being the last two on the board. Bless you. Send it. Oh my god. both together. You see the difference? And now move it around. Like the All right. um, <laughs> so guys, so everybody, now Michael, surrender the, your current intention and everybody scatter around a little bit. So let's make a new set of rules and I don't know what they are. Put both nice down and make it go all the way up. Make it as big as you can. Everybody get inside it. Oh. <laughs> okay, now let's, let's flip this scenario a bit. All right, now let it start easing in on them. Now try not to touch it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, we got the light off. Oh wow, Michael just disappeared. Oh. Oh. It's like when you pretend to open the automatic doors at the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this. Everybody, pick a position and stand still. No more moving. It's a predator. Circle it around like a shark and grab people, but do it unexpectedly. Oh, no. You're not allowed to move. Uh, oh, not <laughs> Y'all good? You already stopped? Prepare to die. But you may react. <laughs> you just can't move. Oh, no. It's coming. <laughs> oh, no. It looks a little bit like a coronavirus so, microbe, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's an Omnicron microbe. <laughs> Now, if it, if, it, if it opens beneath you, you have to crumble and perish. Oh, oh God. That's terrifying. Yeah. I don't trust Oh, no. 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 Who's going to be next? Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we could sing some song from some musical. Yeah, everyone knows the musical song. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Oklahoma, we're not singing. We start singing out. Somebody try to sing it. Yes. <laughs> I still have faith in you. Here, when somebody says in class, why are we learning this algebra and why are we learning this trigonometry and why are we learning this foil equation? This uses all of that. The light or files.
can't see. Go down, look at what's happening on the floor. Stay off the light, but don't feel you have to be frantic. There you go. direction. Keep in mind, this is a duet. I have to, I, it doesn't automatically follow you. So if you get too radical, so there we go. So while he's doing this, what happens over the top? Oh, I was just thinking, I feel like there should be people on the platform. People on the platform. Oh, let's, let's, yeah. or two people. Actually, I'm I'm sick. let's get some people out with the yeah. space around him in a circle. Yeah, just don't shoot him in the eyes. Yeah, just don't shoot him in the eyes. Let's just stick with three, you know. It's so cool when he's just playing and laughing. And it's striking too because it's not the kind of thing you normally see on stage. Until now. <laughs> You're his hat. Um, I know. <laughs> it's a real laser pointer. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. That looks like poison. Wait. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> You are the poison. Sicily? Me? Who, who is Sicily? You! Me? You! Who is the poison? Sicily, for some reason I'm thinking of that dual, like, Dory monologue that you wrote over this. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of that. So that essentially, this, this one works stuff, very right? much like drawing mm -hmm. and paint or Photoshop, mm -hmm. but it leaves, but then it disperses it's like, like smoke. Yeah. No, like, yeah. I just was like, oh. Instead of walking, you sit down and do like one of those dancing floors like you do for a Like right down on the floor, real slow. Like real diagonal. Can you do more of a slow panther crawl? See, it's something really amazing. Man crawls around. It reminds me of El um, Pope. You know the guy that does it. Do you know who does the crawl? Oh. 
I could make this a larger brush too if we wanted to. This is just Photoshop. Wow, that reminds me so much of El Posto. He, he's a guy who does crawls as a as moving installation and he crawls up Manhattan just in a Superman suit holding a flower. And he just like crawls onto it. That's what he does. It's just art form. And this is my because he just left a maze. Now, if you operate this, what I'm doing now, and yet you make up your own rules, I'm essentially just focusing on my hands. It's so cute with this murder. Well, you know, if I used red ink here, it would look quite gruesome. In fact, let's try that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's make it lovely. Yeah, do it. Cool. Because it's done with the dark matter or? Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so lovely. I love so that. Oh, Ooh, that looks cool on camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's giving good hair. We just broke it. Yeah, it's giving unhinged. Yes. I love it. Yes. This is quite great. Yeah. I like the red. Like, you had, like, your stomach, like, 